Hello there and welcome back to a new season of Timberborn. So the update 3 is of course here. It's been here for a while but we were still quite busy with our previous season so now is finally the time to jump on it. And also happy new year to everyone. Hope you had a wonderful celebration and uh, yeah let's jump into into this game straight away so now the folk tales i've really grown to love them especially their windmills because it makes it so much easier when it comes to the power you just plop down as many as you want batteries as well and you'll never have to worry about the power at all but i think it is time to return to the iron teeth faction because their motto is to work hard and work hard now for the map we are gonna pick a custom map of course this one's called high and low and we'll go through it as soon as we set up the rest of the game as well it's gonna give us a bit of an error but we are gonna skip that and pray that it still works now hard of course is gonna be the difficulty and here we go we are in the game so let's pause this real quick to look through what we have or what we are dealing with here so the terrain is interesting to say the least okay we'll do a quick flyby from this side as well and we've got this beautiful canyon and some cliffs in here right so why did i choose this map right so that's uh that's pretty simple to answer i wanted something different and i think this map can definitely provide that i also wanted to have the difference in height some kind of um, mountain ranges canyons so we could build on the cliffs and on top of the mountains themselves of course as well and it seems yeah it, it's pretty pretty high we can still lower it down a little bit and hopefully build it up a bit more as well but i didn't want to spend too much time on terraforming because we did already I, I think we've done enough in our previous season okay so looking through over here we do have a pretty lovely starting spot plenty of trees that we can harvest and if you hide the water here as well so our first mountain is on this corner with a beautiful lake and a couple of water sources as well okay so these are flowing down and of course it's gonna have to be dammed off pretty soon lovely big lake with some little islands in the middle here as well and it seems it's flowing through and off the map through this canyon by the way i really love how we got this cliff range right in the middle of the canyon so that's definitely gonna make it interesting sort of bridge systems and trying to cross over as well okay so now onto our main mountain here uh, seems like we do have a lonely water source and if we were to open it up, it can flow both ways. Okay, so we can clean up this area in here as well. All the way and off the map. Okay, and if that wasn't enough, we could also use a bit of dynamite magic over here and open up this area and clean this whole zone even further. Right, on this corner, it seems like we have nothing. That seems to be the exit of the map. Few barriers, so we could extend this lake as long as we make sure those ruins are nice and safe of course and then a couple more water sources right over there as well all right so that's uh, enough of the map tour i think oh the last thing i forgot to mention was we do have one set of ruins over here and i believe there was yes there is a second one there as well and uh yeah i believe this map should provide us with the challenge that we're after when i say challenge i mean in terms of creative solutions rather than the difficulty itself okay so um, we'll get started right away so as per usual our first challenge is to make sure that we will be having water when the first drought hits us i mean i think most of the times i've actually played on the harder harder difficulties recently i i totally skipped the blocking or damming the water so uh, but yeah we, we're gonna try and do it this time now with the location of the district itself we are very close to the edge of the map over here so what we might do eventually is relocate you a little bit closer i guess we'll measure out how far is the 70 tiles that we that we need and then we we, we can i think yeah move maybe upwards over here uh, but we'll see right so the first thing we are gonna need is uh, some blocks we'll create some paths and lumber jacks in here as well now i am using a few mods i will put them on the screen and in the description as well so the first one we do have is the bath mod we can use a ton of different ones okay so here is the selection that we do have i believe there is plenty to choose from and I especially like those funky frog baths as well. Okay, so shout out to you, Kuist. Thanks for recommending this one. 
we will uh, certainly make use of all of these ones. Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, set up all the essentials. We will be needing a road all the way to the water, of course. And right away we shall also start demolishing all of those dead trees over here. I guess we'll place you facing this way. Now we are going to need a few more builders as well. We'll put it on lowest priority and let's get this going. So let's have a look at the storages. I have read the developers notes or the up update notes and it seems we have a small industrial pile. Okay, that's a very cute tiny one. And you hold 20 logs. Okay, so that's definitely going to be handy placing you with a high priority next to some production lines, I suppose. We do also have the slightly larger size as well, which is great. Oh, you guys are already done. So, yep, everything is going to go over here. Take it all out. All right, all these trees. Yep, awesome. So now you guys have something to do. Grab as many logs as you can and we shall start building the rest as well. Now, food situation. Okay, so we got 90 over there. We are going to have to start harvesting some of the berries in here as well. Actually, let's take a look. We've got some over here, some in the middle. Not a whole lot, but I think it should be plenty for our needs for now. Okay, and you can grab some of these as well. All right, great. So we do have access downstairs, which is great. Let's do the water. Let's do it right here. Or hmm, let's put it on the side, just like so. Okay, and we shall connect you up with the roads themselves as well. Beautiful. So logs are coming in. Next thing... Oh, yeah, we were looking at the storages. Uh, oh, wait a second. We have a medium with 200. And Iron Teeth now has a large warehouse as well. Okay, that's interesting. Water storages. Oh, we do have another small one. Well, that's really cute. And that's the usual medium one. Well, it was the large one before. And now we do have a large water tank with 1,200 capacity. Oh, wow. Gone are the days where you just had to spam those, well, the previous large ones, but now the medium tanks. Okay. I mean, I guess I never really spammed them all over my map anyways, but yeah, that's definitely handy. Anything else we can notice? Oh, this icon here has changed a little bit. Housing seems to be the same. Water, yep. Food the same as well. We are using also the backing plant mod. All right, and the rest uh, seems to be the same. All right, so we are going to let the beavers build up a couple of things that we do need in here, and then we shall look at what else do we do we need. Another day has started, so something I forgot to do was probably need the inventor as well. How are you going? Okay, um, <laughs> let's take one of the loggers out from here. I also remember that Iron Teeth reproduction is a little bit different. Yeah, spamming those houses is not going to be enough, so we are going to have to use some berries and uh, perhaps get some of the breeding bots going right away. Let's plan you in somewhere here, because this is probably going to be yep, the area where we shall do all of you. We'll pause you for a second whilst we figure out the rest of the priorities as well. So as usual, we are going to need some planks and get the forester going. But to be fair, we don't have a lot of space in here to plant trees because we also need the farms to go somewhere. But yeah, we still need the forester though because the trees here are sort of limited. Yep, let's do that first then. For that, we are going to need the inventor and we shall place you just like so over there. Now for the water itself, I guess we... Mm, do we want to waste the planks already? I, I think the 15 sort of storage for now is enough. No, never mind. Let, let's do it. it. Takes a little bit of time to get used to that. The water tanks are now in the storage section, uh, but it, it, it's fine. Okay, so you go over here for for now. You're gonna hold how many? Oh, oh right, I see. So we have to select the resource that goes in here. That's interesting. Accepting, obtain, and empty. Yeah, very interesting indeed. Now, <laughs> we'll leave you here. Do we have to do the same for all of the other types of warehouses as well? Interesting. Uh, right, so you guys are full. Let's find out. Let's do a industrial log pile. Oh, yeah, we do. Wait, not just the logs, but also... 
dirt, metal blocks, blanks, 3D blanks and scrap metal goes in here. And we also seem to have a very interesting bar next to the resource itself. Uh, okay, does that show us how much space we have versus how much is stored in the, well, warehouses? I guess we'll find out. Uh, 12 blocks, okay, so that's almost going to be done. And we need one more person in here. Actually, never mind, I think we're fine for now. Get these things done. Right, let's have uh, some of the science start coming in right away. You are full now, so why don't we pause you? Go and do something else. Help us build, I don't know, this water storage here, perhaps? Uh, right, right, right. So, beaver well-being. They would probably like to live in some of these houses. Let's keep an eye on how many logs. Okay. Yep, we can definitely do one house at least. And we shall place you, I don't know, let's do you over here for, for the time being. I mean, I am a little worried about the farm space that we do have. Yeah, so we are definitely going to have to climb up very quickly. And actually, for the science, I do want to have another one as well. Now, this beaver board can go online. Actually, we do need to keep this gathering flag operational at all times. So, let's do a medium warehouse somewhere where it's not green. Yep, that space is very important to us. If we are going to store berries, why don't we do you... I guess we can place you right over here. Yeah, allows us a bit more space for uh, some more inventor huts if we... And when we wanted to do them. We can also speed up the time as well. Give you a high priority. And the next one, I think you shall be the lowest. I would like them to do the breeding board next. And the two of you should be fine, I believe. Yep. Right, so here we go. We have, wow, four or five science only. Uh, <laughs> let's try and increase our population as quick as we can. I think we shall unpause you again. We don't need really that many builders right now. You also have the storage now for the for the logs so you guys can be operational pretty much all the time and i think since you don't have a lot of entertainment right now we are going to increase your work days as well so everyone has now moved into the house well everyone except one of them and uh, well it, it it's okay what are you guys building next water storage is there we were supposed to block this area in okay so what's the cheapest way to do this Yep, that's going to be from here. I guess from here it does not matter as much anymore. I would like to take advantage of the of the natural stairs that we do have. So perhaps we can push you all the way there. Okay, and now... Oh, those berries are kind of in the way. But that's okay. So we probably have to remove you. Well, let's see how far can we get right now. So you can build one of those dams, I see. Yep, unfortunately these berries are going to have to go. So let's uh, remove you. It appears we have forgotten to set up the warehouse in here. Oh wow, that is a lot of stuff in here. So berries, okay, here you go. Now you've got space and our well-being has gone up somehow as well. Why are you guys happy? Okay, because of the houses, I believe. And well, you're getting water and food as well. So that's good. Our next priority, yes, is to get more science. Now you are going to be the highest priority. Never mind, you're doing the dams already. Okay. How many logs do we still have in here? Ooh, not a lot. And we don't have... Uh, maybe we have to be a bit more careful. Maybe. Blanks we can... Hmm. Okay, let's start making some blanks then, I suppose, as well. Now... It is not going to be a large establishment in here. However, what we do want to do... Yeah, that should be enough space. So, power-wise, let's have a look at the flow in here. Okay, so... We could perhaps even do... No, that's going to be too big of a construction. So, we don't need a ton of blanks right at the start. So, I guess we'll leave a two wide gap in here. Road, and you go somewhere there. Okay. We'll bring the roads all the way through, and now 
What this means, our blanks factory can go right like so. Let's get these built as well and we shall start producing some blanks right away. I almost forgot we already have the breeding board operational, which is great. I would like to do another one though. Hmm, okay, what we should actually do, let's get the farm going so they wouldn't eat all of our berries. And for that, mm -hmm, you have a pretty good range if we place you even here seems to be fine, to be honest. Or oh, wait a second, let's pause you. Have a look. Okay, no, you can't reach everything. Right, so that's fine. It's all wasteland here anyway, so... Yeah. Now, for the props themselves, we shall start with a few. Oh, uh, okay, we might want to leave you as well in case we want to make some medicine. But for medicine, where are you? Oh, never mind. We need metal, so let's not worry about it. I'm sure we got some more flowers elsewhere. Carrots, somewhere here. Okay, we'll do a few of you. We shall jump to potatoes right away. Let's have a ton of you. Actually, same with the carrots as well, just to keep us going for a little bit. And then after that, we are, of course, going to need the grill. And this seems to be a lovely spot in here. Let's pause you for, for now. Okay, what are you guys... No... That's going to be... Ooh, that's a good question. What is our priority? Is it saving the water? Or is it food? Logs, we seem to be fine for the time being. And blanks... Mm, perhaps we can wait, because we don't have the science anyways. So yeah, why don't we do the farm? We shall take one of you out. Okay. Okay. Hopefully you will help build this place up for us. So farm next and then we shall worry about those dams over there. Alright, so there we go. Oh no, the drought is already arriving in three days. Now, can we complete this? Um, actually, let's try. We have the blanks right now. 20, 40, 60, 80. Well, not quite. Uh, yep. You guys are going to be paused. We <laughs> we need one more. Okay, four builders. Oh yeah, you're not going to have the range. So why don't you take this one out as a matter of priority? We'll pause all of the construction for now. Nearly there. These roads in place as well. And you got 20 logs already. They shall start bringing them in. Oh, never mind. You're going here now. Well, that's all right. Now with the flow in here... Hopefully it's not going to flood all of our lands. I'm sure it's not going to... Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, it's quite a hike for these guys. But I'm sure we can complete it. How is it going now? 16 in 1. Oh yeah, we, we should be fine. Alright, so why don't we skip ahead a little bit. Let these areas to be constructed. And then we shall be back. And here we go. We already have two of those dams in. Third one in here. And the fourth one is slowly being completed as well. Your range is... Well, it could be better. If we place some more roads in here, perhaps extend this one, we could get a, another harvester in place. But what we do want to do, once this one is completed here, we actually want to start doing a bit of farming as well. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's probably a priority number number two. Right, so it seems we finally have 20 logs in here and one of our beavers is going to complete this as well. And I think unless we missed something, we should be safe for the for the first route now, which is a little surprising. Yeah, I guess we can be proud of ourselves. Uh, right, do we want to... Oh, we might want to extend it. Or do we not? I mean, I guess we can... Does it allow us to build roads? No. Uh, wait a second. Do we want to demolish this? If we do, we can green up this whole zone in here as well. Um, <laughs> but there are more trees in here. But we do... No, we should be... I hope we're going to be fine. Yep, we shall be. Because all we need now is get you going. Few planks... We've got the science. Yep, let's do it. We are going to open up this space a little further now. Farmers are operational as well, which is great. Okay, 
Now, did we get some more beavers? Where have you guys... This one's full. We've got two beavers in here. Someone in here. Hmm. Interesting. So, let's open up this area. You are going to be the next one. Now, what do we want to build? We want to build... Okay, we do want a few... Oh, wow. 40, 55. Okay, I think we will have enough. Now, for the forest there... Oh, yeah. That's going to be the first thing we shall unlock. And we... Hmm, it's going to be interesting. How much base are we going to have in here? Or what I mean is, how green is it going to be? I think somewhere around like so. Uh, right, so here we go. Here comes some water. Oh, yeah, we got two more. We shall also demolish these bits in here. But they don't have the range. That's fine. A couple of roads and the problem shall be solved. What shall we do next? Our water is fine. Food, hopefully very soon as well. So we can actually, yeah, let's do a few more crops over here. And here we go. So the water is flowing in now. And, okay, slightly smaller range than I was expecting, but it's, it's still good. This definitely gives us a bit more space to work with. And, oh, wait a second. We can also walk all the way up there. All right, so that's pretty good. There we go. That's the most direct route, isn't it? Yes, it is. And now, but why do we want to go up here? That I do not know. It gives us a bit more access in this area. Okay, there's some canals and things in here. Oh, we do have another water source, actually. It appears, yeah. And I don't think it's going to be a good idea to open this up, or will it? No, because that means we are going to flood ourselves. So why don't we leave it for the time being? Right, so the logs are now low. We do have access to a forester, but we don't have the planks. Oh, never mind. We are producing planks, actually. Right, right, right. So, you can hold 13, which is good, but not great. Now, to use this space in here, if this remains the farming area... Or actually, this might be better. Yeah, this seems to be... Hmm. We are going to have to climb up from here of course yeah and then damn in these sections this one we can extend as well yeah once we get up there perhaps this is where we shall do our beaver housing estate yeah that could be a pretty good idea now what about those carrots food might be might become problematic soon okay so you got the range i mean actually we could cross over from here 100 science is what we need. We also need the stairs, of course. Uh, yeah, so why don't we open up this one. We don't need the builders right now. You don't really have anything to do. And you guys, we got a few blanks. Once it's full, we shall reallocate you guys elsewhere. And here we go. The first route has started. Is this all going to dry up? No, we're going to have a little lake at the top over there. This one most likely is going to be empty. No, we shall have water. Over there, you are pretty much done, aren't you? Oh yeah, single water source right over there. I do love those little rivers and options that we will have in the future. Yeah, that's looking pretty, pretty good actually. Now, our next primary goal is going to be, yeah, getting this food going. I will have to extend the farms in a second as well, but also the science. So we need the platforms, we need the stairs, and a couple more more things. Now, once we do... Hmm. Yeah, the stairs could go... Oh. That's interesting. Don't think I noticed this before. When you delete stuff, it seems there's a bit of a dust pile or cloud now. Oh. Interesting effects. I mean, it's not going to affect our gameplay too much, but uh, yeah, those little things. Uh, right, so you guys still have a few logs here and there. Range is... Oh, we can always build some more lumberjacks here as well. That is definitely not a problem. And for you guys as well, you can go a bit further from here. And then we can climb up if we have to. 
Now, Forrester, yep, where shall we place you? So, hmm, <laughs> If farms are here, I guess, no, there's a lot more berries on this side. Uh, can we green up this zone in here as well? No. Maybe. There is some water in there, but bringing it over, no, that's going to be more like a mid to late game thing for us. So, why don't we take a look? If we were to place you, I don't know, somewhere here. All right, let's let's um, let's build you over here. Here we go, let's get this going as well. How many builders do we have? Just one for now. Blanks are actually full, so we shall pause these two buildings. You can help out with the construction once again. And, oh wow, 25 logs. Yeah, we are definitely going to need this farm going very soon. There's still enough to collect over there, I'd say. Do we want to do pine trees or do we want to go maples right away? There are some maples in here. I think we will be fine. I mean, I sure hope so. Okay, so you go through here, these ones. And I guess we are going to have to tidy you up a little bit as well. Yes, let's do that. Let's do another... Okay, you, I guess you can go over here and then harvest all those trees. What I also do want to do, you have an okay range, but it's not very good. So we'll do another gathering flag right over there. Okay, once this tree is fully matured, we can tidy this up. So actually, never mind. That's uh, already... I guess mark everything and then once all these trees are gone from here we can just take it out. All right and here we go. So we are a little low on the food it seems. Yeah we do have some chestnuts but no food at all. Uh, right right right. So another gathering flag is going over there. Okay so gathering some berries. What I'm worried about is if those carrots don't come online, well, a couple more days actually, I think there's enough berries in here, but then again, you never know. There is a forest there in there. What we could do, let's uh, use this zone in here for our berry farm. I guess, yeah, let's, let's do that for now. Now, all this lovely space in here, I think in the long term, this is most likely going to be our tree farm area. Yeah, okay, so what we could do is, there's already like a tiny little lake in here. Let's have a look, how much is a water dump? 250 science points, okay, and the stream gauge as well, 150. Okay, so we are going to need quite a bit of science, but for the time being, we first will be needing those stairs. Right, build a set over here because I would like to expand our farm a little further I mean yeah there's quite a bit in here once it gets going we'll be fine but for now yeah let's plan a bit further now this is a lovely spot in here for even some more trees and to cross over actually it's not gonna be too difficult is it all we should do is give uh, our beavers a slightly more direct route. And then you can just climb up from here, can't you? Yeah, that should be fine. Oh yeah, I've just noticed we don't have any builders left because we've built quite a few additional structures. Uh, <laughs> with the stairs, you're going to use pretty much all the planks already as well. You don't have anything else in range, so why don't we pause you for, for a second. Oh... Okay, quite a few more berries here. Actually, what would be lovely, if we get rid of all these berries in here, crossover, and you are going to need 100 science points. Okay, fine. Uh, right. This one comes out from here. Focus on the trees first. Right, there we go. Maple. And this whole area. Do as many trees as you can. Now, this one in here, no, that's where we are going to place the road. Oh no, it was this one here. Right. Fix you up a little bit, couple more trees, so you got stuff to do now. And then, as soon as we hit 100 points, we shall build a little platform in here. 
All right, it seems the first set of stairs is already complete. Food, oh, uh, berries still. 70% on the carrots. I mean, if we give you a slightly higher focus at the start, then this would be fine. I don't think we need two beavers in here for now. Actually, we leave two in here, but we are going to pause the building. because There isn't much to do just yet. Right, so you have the complete range over here. But there's still a couple of trees, so why don't we just quickly place a... Actually, let's have a look. One second. Oh yeah, if we place you here, you are still going to have the range to go on the mountain here, or the little hill. And on top of this one, what shall we build? Right, right, right. The crops we want to do is now... Potatoes is really what's going to keep us alive. We, we don't quite have the power just yet. And... Oh, we could do a water farm as well. Yeah, there's plenty of water in here that we don't use. So perhaps that is the next thing we do. But on top of this one, I guess we are going to go with potatoes. Yep, let's do it just like so. And then what we shall do with you is... I am going to take out all of the trees for now. A, we do need the logs. Oh, missed the spot over there. And secondly, we can always beautify this place a little bit later. Now is not the time. The focus is a little more on the survival, I would say. Uh, you guys have already died. Oh yeah, because it wasn't green before. Okay, so that's fine. Now, food, water. Water is fine. We've got a tank in here. Logs, however. Yeah, we still got a bit over there. So I think to help you guys out. How much further? Oh, there's more stuff in there as well. Okay, let's place one over here. So you are going to hopefully harvest everything he in here once we provide you with a bit more access as well. When we do get this space cleared up in here, we shall <laughs> turn this way and then go through this side and then straight through from here as well. Okay, now blanks seems to be the problem. What are you guys building now? Okay, the stairs are done. What about in here? Do you still have construction projects? I don't think so. So we got the logs. Why don't we do a few more blanks? Yes, we are definitely going to need them. It seems we do have a kit as well. Now, I think I did say it at the start of the last season as well that we would like to focus on the well-being a little earlier, but I don't think I was very good at this. So, yeah, let's uh, spend a few logs to give them a campfire. I guess here is fine for, for now, since this place is not very usable. Okay, we shall do you over there. And now with the potatoes, 56%. Okay, I guess we can build you as well. Slightly lower priority. Oh, we don't have any builders, of course, because you are doing blanks. Well, almost. Right, we'll pause one of the lumberjacks. We do also have another one there. Okay, let's focus on this area first, because we do want to plant as many of them as we can. Okay, 90% or 92% on, on the carrots. We really need them online very soon. I mean, we still have a few more berries, but we also need those berries for the breeding pods themselves. Uh, right, points-wise, what's wrong with you? Oh, water, I see. That's fine, go and get some, so you'll be happy again. There's another one. Right, we need 100% to start doing some platforms. 100 points, I mean. But we are very close. Okay, here we go. First carrots are online. That means we do need a farmer here. Now, what can we pause though? We do need the blanks. Uh, lumberjack over here. We do need to clear this space in here. I guess you are expendable right now. Okay, just for a little while at least. And then we still have two lumberjacks. Yeah, logs are fine though. So why don't we pause you as well? We do need someone to start constructing things. Okay, build this first. And now with the rest, what we could do is... Yeah, we're spaced out quite a little bit. Where are you guys off to? Oh, you are building the stairs over here to get access to a few more trees. Okay, so that's fine. And um, 
Yeah, we're quite spaced out, so what would be smart is to take advantage of those small storages. So perhaps placing uh, water a little bit closer to somewhere here. That could be useful. And also some food as well. I mean, food is not too far. They can reach it pretty, pretty easily. Now, is this almost done? Okay, I think it's safe to also speed up the time a little bit. Now, when we go into well-being, what else can we do? Now you are... No, no, no. no. Go and get those carrots. We need food. And once we get a few more beavers, we can definitely uh, do another farmhouse as well. Now, I've just noticed and realized that housing is probably the next thing we also need. And then potatoes, 72%. So, yes, you are still not the priority. Okay, and right, right, right. We are finally getting some carrots in. I think what we can do... No, let's uh, harvest everything that we have here first. Increase our stockpile by a little bit. You are holding... Mm, well, you got a bit of a storage here as well. So you can hold up to 50. So that's fine. We don't need to build another one just yet. But you are doing the house. And okay, yeah. I think things are starting to look a little bit better now. Okay, there we go. We got our second house ready. The drought has just ended. We got more than 100 points now, finally. Okay, so this is going to mean that we can now connect these sections up. Okay, and as we said before, this is the zone that will become our... Oh, and the stairs over here. Wait, was there stairs on this side as well? No, there weren't. Okay, that's fine. Right, so this could be our little berry farm here, I suppose. I don't want to build another forester in here. So perhaps we just let them go wild. Now, to do this, we shall place yet another lumberjack flag. Just like so. We'll clean it up a little bit. I don't think we need you guys. Okay, we'll take you out. And with the rest, access-wise... I don't think we need to go anywhere from here. So that's fine. They're not going to be very useful. But we shall maybe extend the roads if we need to access this zone here. Okay. Now I've also switched the harvesting only to planting. And with the carrots being the primary resource right now. So food's looking good. They shouldn't be eating those berries anymore. Which means they will be... Purely for our breeding pods. Now, I do want to get the population up very quickly. So we shall do... Where shall we place you? If only there was a perfect spot like this one in here. Oh wow, that went uh, pretty, pretty quickly. Three days until another drought will start. So I think our next goal is of course to get more science to try and clean up this area in here as well. We need quite a quite a few actually. And uh, I do want to increase our water reserves because of course we are on the slightly harder difficulty. So storing up a bit of extra water will not hurt us. No, it's going to be quite good actually. Right, so with this one workplace really low. But I do want to yeah, you've got the whole range in here, so that's that's good. And then now access is better as well. We also have access in here. Oh, wait a second. Someone's already working here. Right, so you are going to take out all of those trees. And this will, in the future, be our berry farm instead. So, yeah. Okay, there we go. Now we can speed you up. I have changed the focus for the guys as well. They are now doing potatoes first. And once we do get a couple more beavers, we shall build another farm to speed up the process even further. If we have to, of course. But I have a feeling we don't really need a second farm just yet. They can... The farm itself will fill up pretty quickly with potatoes, carrots and all, all that stuff. You're busy. We got tons of grilled potatoes here already. Yep, I think it will be fine. Right, with you, what's going on here? You don't really have any more tasks, so why don't we change that? Okay, your range, I think, you, yeah, you can do a few more, so that's fine. Now, with this section here, since you are not going to be our main berry farm, how many planks do we have? 
Uh, you are boss. We have enough. Let's check the forest there as well. I guess we could speed you up. Yeah, since we are already doing some trees over there. And we still have lots to harvest in this whole area. Oh yeah, we can climb up as well. I think we'll be fine. So right, for the time being, we are going to put a forester here. Oh, well-being is already 7, which is great. Uh, building working speed a little bit faster. Life as well, and movement speed boost. Okay, great. Yeah, forester is going to go here. We shall start doing some berries. Okay, three times the speed since it's night time. And there we go. Okay, beautiful. Tons of berries all over the place. Two of the breeding boards are now online as well, which brings the total to a four. Now that's pretty good. It means we are probably going to have a bit of a population explosion later. But it is good. Water will be fine as long as you, or as soon as you harvest this section here. I do want to do even more breeding boards though. Yeah. I guess a couple could go... Let's put you right over here for now. Okay, and six of you. I think if one can maintain a population of about... Well, 10 beavers, 15. Between 10 and 20, I, let's say 15, right? So right now, we're good for about 60. Another two breeding boards, and we have 90. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be good. Beds, enough space as well. So why don't we let the game run for a little bit and see how it goes. Okay, so it seems we have quite a bit of science that has accumulated. So for the water dump, we are going to need 250. Okay. And with you, where shall we place you? The closer or the shorter the route is, the better, of course. So we could even place you just like so over here. Okay, so that's where you're going to go now. Unfortunately, we don't have quite enough points for the stream gauge itself. So, yeah, but this area is quite quite a large one. So we might be fine. Now, carrots, we have tons. Okay, so next priority is probably going to be water. Right, we don't have any builders. What shall we do about that? Okay, you don't have anything to do in this area. Oh, no. Okay, we still need a few more. Where is everyone? Nothing to harvest over here. Fine, that's good. We will get an extra beaver from that. And everything is already planned in here as well. Right, where else are you guys hiding? Never mind, we do have one now. I guess we can pause you. Perhaps you focus on... Oh, we didn't have anything else to build, is it? No, no, no. We are taking out those carrots. Yep. So that's good. Once that is done, we can build another bump in here. And actually, we do need some more storage for for the water as well. Oh, another 120 points. Okay, fine. I guess we are going to have to do a few more tanks over here. Yeah, we shall. I would like them to be a little bit closer. Aren't the potatoes already full? No, they are not. Okay. Almost though, so that means they will switch over to carrots very soon. Right, right, right. And I think three water storage is over there. We shall have the pump. I think we can pause you for now because pumping the water out is not the problem. The problem is actually having enough water stored up. So, yep, yeah, three should be fine over here for now. Uh, blanks are almost full as well. So we can get two extra beavers from here any second. And there we go. Okay, you guys are done as well. Our population, so 12 right now, which means someone else has just grown up. Oh, they have. Oh, and someone has unfortunately passed away as well. But that's all right. We have another four kids that will grow up very soon. And yeah, these are pretty decent as well. No good selected. Water, please. And same with you. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. There's three of you working here. Our log storage. Okay, let's have one of you work in that one. Okay. Storages are now good, which means perhaps we can start doing the bump because we almost have the points that we do need. Okay, there we go. And one of you is now working here. 
Do we have enough water to drop it all down here? Mm, not entirely sure. But this is looking pretty decent, actually. Yeah. So, what's your range as well? Okay, we can do, yeah, quite a few trees here already. Alright, so there we go. All of this here. And once it fills up, I think it's going to extend even further. That's going to be good. Now, do we have the workforce that we need? Uh, not really. Yeah, we really need some of you guys to start growing up now with the well-being as well. Let's uh, see what else we can do. Now, you get quite busy, right? Perhaps we do need another campfire soon. Rooftop terrace will be... Will be lovely, of course. Now, do we... Hmm, do we need to plan this out a little better? Maybe. Okay, so if we had some more storages over here... Right, let's, uh, let's plan this out then. So if another one goes here, the ladder will be very good as well. But that's 300 points. Okay, I think we have enough for you now, which is wonderful. Advanced, set you... Oh, we can't set you up until you are built. Okay, fine. Now, water is going, yeah, down quickly. But we have two operational now. At least we do also have one of you guys. How many planks are you going to take? Oh, no. That is not going to be enough, I'm afraid. Which means... <laughs> build as much as you can. Now, after that is done, what we shall do... We shall pause you and yeah, let's uh, do some blanks, please. All right, that's enough. Now, ooh, okay, there we go. A couple more have grown up. You are not selected. What do we want to store in here? Um, I guess we'll do carrots for now. And the next building we shall have is going to be... Yeah, what shall it be? Uh, potatoes, grilled ones. Okay. Now, well-being, rooftop terrace. If we place... Hmm, if we play our card smart, we might be able to do it this way instead. Or should we do it this way? This way? Um, now, let's go... I guess no. Let's, yeah, let, let's do it this way. Right, so they need to climb up, which... Um, <laughs> yeah, everything is a little close. I mean, we don't really need this road like so, do we? All you need is to climb up and... Ooh, this gap in here. Wait a second. If, let's say, we climb up from here and we had a couple of platforms... First of all, let us I can't remember if we can do the rooftop terrace. Oh, we can. Uh, oh, wait. What is this rubble? Oh, I see. I remember now. So, we do get some resources back. Right. Uh, that's fine. Yep, let's do it this way. Stairs go up from here. And then we are right away going to have... Oh, yeah, we can do a couple in here, which is good. That's going to take quite a few blanks, however. So maybe you are not the priority for, for now at least. Okay, climb over, climb up. And there we go. You should be the priority instead. We get one rooftop terrace, and yeah, that's going to improve our well-being even further. And what else can we do for free? Uh, you might want to fix your teeth as well. Yeah, dentist is important. I guess this will be a good enough space for you. Now, this one isn't really doing much right now. So I think, um, yeah, let's um, pause you. Resume the forest there, so we can start planting some more trees here as well. And that is very lovely to see. That's going to, yeah, it's definitely going to keep us alive now. You are also going to have to be set up. So there we go. Um, <laughs> pause when above. Let's do, let's set you to maybe like 0.8. And unpause if you drop below, let's say 30. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, so... What is next? You don't have access. Oh, yeah. We just need some blanks, which you are producing. Logs is pretty good. We got tons of berries already. This means you can hop out from this one here. 
Okay, we still have two workplaces. Perhaps you start harvesting some more trees in this zone here as well. There we go. I do want to complete this section in here. So maybe one of you here first. Let's uh, tidy this up and then we shall have... Yeah. All of this zone here. And what I do want to do is we are actually going to place another platform just like so. With a gathering flag on top. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, now once we get the science, I think we are going to get the slightly bigger water storages. What I think I do want to do is, yes, we have a couple more trees in here, but we should start planning for the future a little bit. Oh, that's unfortunate. Why do you have to be... Oh, well, I guess we could also go from this side instead. And once we get the ladders, we can make it up bit more efficient I suppose oh yeah same in here actually wait a second before we build this up this is gonna be lovely and green you are operational right let's unhide the water again okay yeah we are still filling up as well uh, water situation is fine drought is not here just yet oh yeah I think we just came out of a drought Okay, everything's fine. Now, next thing, yeah, we do want to climb up in here. The roads are going to be very tricky. Now, we could do another or set another challenge for us, which would be not to demolish anything in this map, except when we want to connect up, let's say, this river with you over here. Or why don't we try? Okay, we shall try. I am not making any promises, but we shall try and do this run without using any dynamites. I don't think I'll be able to do this because I... Hmm, no, some of those rivers will be fine. It's going to green everything up in here. So let's give it a try. Yep, that's a little challenge for ourselves to see how far we can go without demolishing anything. Now, actually, that's a bit silly, isn't it? Yep. I know there's a bit of green space in here, but we are going to have tons of green areas everywhere. There we go. We have changed our mind and we are going to go through this way. Then we can start harvesting these trees in there as well whilst we are waiting for this whole farm to come online. Okay, so that's, uh, that's good. You got nothing to do. Now, it probably means we are pretty full. Well, there isn't a whole lot of trees in there left. Uh, what else can we do? We could venture up here, but we don't really have to construct anything there because we... Yeah, we don't need the logs right now. We got plenty. So, yeah, I guess we just have to keep expanding our population, really. And once we get enough people... Oh, yeah, we don't have any anyone... <laughs> We don't have any builders just yet, and it seems we also need some more housing for them as well, which is fine. We'll just place another one just like so. And yeah, I'd say that's a okay start. We could have sped up the science a little bit. And we will definitely improve it even more once we're ready. Do we have enough berries? Chestnuts? Oh yeah, tons. You are not ready yet, is it? No. But we must have a gathering flag somewhere. That is still operational. Or perhaps the warehouse is still pretty full. Okay, cool. So six of the boards are running. Do we want to make this even crazier? Maybe. Now another thing we did say was we might want to do another farm here so we can start getting some carrots as well. But do we not? Yeah, potatoes are going down pretty quickly. What if we don't give you a priority? Just do whatever is closest to you. So then we get a bit of carrots, a bit of potatoes. And this might be a lot better. Okay, so I have paused the blank production for a second, but it seems we've already run out of them. Uh, our population is now 15 and we have another 7, oh, 6 that are about to grow up very soon. We are building a, another house in here. Hopefully that's going to be done very soon as well so that everyone can have a roof above their heads. And then, uh, yeah, we do need a couple more 
warehouses over here. One's going to be for grilled potatoes. The other one... Well, let's see what else can we do. Bread we don't quite have yet. We can also do grilled chestnuts, actually. If we start, like, a tiny, tiny farm somewhere. But uh, this zone is pretty much complete, so this forester can be paused. Okay, water seems to be okay as well. Points are coming in. And that's actually another thing I do want to perhaps do next then. Yeah. And once the time is right, we will change. I have realized that I might have done it a little wrong, I think. Yeah, so once we get the ladder, we are going to take out these ones. And maybe rearrange this zone a little bit. Yeah, it can be a lot more efficient. This isn't very good. Now, another thing. What happens with the rubble? Is anyone going to clear it? I think, if I remember correctly... Oh, yeah, someone did grab them. I think it was the builders. Okay, there we go. They've cleaned up the space now. You are already complaining as well. Well, we don't want to place anything in this one just yet, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so population is going up. All the resources are the way we need them. And I think with the droughts themselves, our next mission might be just to store even more water here. In case some of the longer droughts start arriving very soon. So, so yeah, we'll figure out most likely in the next episode where can we relocate our district center and how we do want to do things a little bit better so for now we are gonna end the episode here so thank you so much for watching pretty excited for update three and let's see where we where we can dig this colony too so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode